Danger, danger, 5G ahead. Make sure you're wearing your protective clothing. Bioventures.com has products that can protect you from the dangers of the 5G radiation and your purchases help make these videos possible. Welcome to another 5G exposed video where we show you the dangers that are surrounding you. So, watch and learn and maybe you will see a pattern as to where the 5G is set up and how it is really affecting people going by. We're on 16th Avenue Northeast at the moment. Just past the Care West Hospital, or just by it I should say. The noise you hear in the background is the tri-field meter. The louder it gets, the worse the danger. It runs in conjunction with the peak and the steady 5G that is affecting you. But I don't feel you need to listen to it the entire video. So I'm going to mute it. Maybe I'll play a little bit of music. So just keep your eyes on the meter and you can see what it's doing. I'll also uh, speed up certain areas and cut out certain areas depending on what's happening because you only need to really see and concentrate on the high 5G areas. In this regard I'm going to skip forward a couple of blocks and get started at about Edmonton Trail. Well, I think I better just give a little bit of an explanation here as we're traveling down the road because to the layman especially, they're going to say, or you might be thinking to yourself, what's the big deal? The meter's going back and forth. It doesn't seem to be going off the meter. Well, let me explain this to you. When that meter is going and you're seeing numbers on the screen, that means there's radiation. So that means no matter what, there's radiation present from the 5G because the meter is set to monitor the 5G waves. Now the main numbers there are what are hitting you on average. The lines going across are the peaks, just instant peaks. So what, you say? Well, put it this way. The meter has got two numbers, then a decimal, and then three decimal numbers. Point two is absolutely the safest levels that you should be at when you're being exposed to this 5G. So think about that. Take another look at the meter now. When do you see it at point two and less? This entire trip across 16th Avenue is higher than the recommended levels. And when you get to the peaks, that's when the real danger occurs. Right now you can see it's 2.1, 2.4 and remember 0.2 is recommended or at least is determined to be safe by the manufacturer of the tri-field meter. And when it goes off the meter, it goes off the meter at 20, above 20. So 0.2 is safe and it goes off the meter at 20. What's that, 100 times the recommended safe levels. And this entire journey, you're getting radiated. Even if it's a smaller amount, it is harming you. So we need to protect ourselves or eliminate the towers.
don't think the rays are that bad, you guys. What about this? This is 10th Street and 16th Avenue North. I think this is a perfect time just to uh, cut off the meter and the sound and have a little bit of a discussion. Because as you can see, if you're not familiar with the area, first of all, let me give you a bit of a background. This is SAIT, which is a college, the major college in Calgary. And there's a lot of students that go through that intersection that we just passed. And the 5G was off the meter continuously. That's scary. Because all of these students, their young minds, are walking through this area or traveling through this area and they're getting zapped continuously. So think about it. Is this a good thing? No, absolutely not. The 5G radiation rays that are being emitted from towers is causing, at the very least, headaches. But just think, it's a microwave. What does a microwave do? It cooks from the inside out. And it's the same type of waves. So these young minds are getting zapped. They're setting themselves up for more and more health issues as life goes on. Just think about where they've had nuclear disasters. And years later, people are coming up with all sorts of diseases and cancers because they've been radiated internally and it catches up with them. So we really need to do something. We really need to either get rid of these towers, change the system, or until this happens you've got to protect yourself. The best way is to avoid these areas altogether. Realistically you can't do it. And if you can't do it, what do you got to do? You got to block the rays from hitting your body. There's jackets you can wear, there's t-shirts you can wear, there's underwear, there's hats. And I'm coming up with a, a method of blocking your windshields in your vehicle. It's not the ultimate solution, but it is a good solution to use in combinations with other things when there's nothing else available. So you guys take a look at our sponsors please visit them they're making these videos possible I make a few bucks off of each purchase if you use the links on the sites that I take you to and you get superior clothing and that's the most important thing if you have no money because this product or all of these products are not cheap unfortunately it's the way it is then just avoid the high 5G radiation areas and get yourself a meter so that you can see for yourself where these areas are and you can avoid them.